what is going on everybody so a package came in the mail today i have my front splitter let me tell you guys what's going on with my lip so i took my lip off and i'm gonna repaint it if you guys watched a couple videos ago i was showing you guys that my lip was all chipped up and the paint was just all gone so i sanded it all down all that gray stuff is just leftover primer i'm gonna clean it up a little bit more before we lay the new coat of primer so my package just came in shout out to stillin for hooking it up with the splitter so i'm gonna test fit the lip onto the splitter i'll leave the link down below for this specific splitter if you guys have this specific lip As you can see, perfect fit. This splitter is actually made for this lip, so that's really good. This comes with 3M tape, as well as some self-tapping screws. So once I get this lip painted and everything, I'll throw this right underneath, and it's gonna look really good. Let me put it on the car real quick, just to show you guys. Don't mind the car, super dirty. This is what it would kind of look like if you guys can get like visualization of how it is. So some of you guys may be concerned about the end of the lip, and yeah, I definitely was, so. When you line it all up, it pokes out just a tiny bit where it curves with the lip, which is really nice. But you know, obviously right now, having it like this, you can't really tell because you guys would see the red tape. Once it's actually on, it'll look a lot better. In a couple days from now, we're gonna take this lip to Doku, get it painted, and then we're gonna throw on the splitter. I'll see you guys in a couple days. What up guys, welcome back. So it's been a couple days. I got the lip all primed and prepped. Today we're here with Doku. He's gonna be helping me paint this lip and I'm just gonna learn how to paint and stuff, so it's gonna be dope. Got this nice stand, this actual like, not on cardboard, you know, this is a lot better than what I was doing like two years ago. If you guys remember, if you guys watched that video, you guys would see I was painting it on the floor and stuff, so this is a lot better, it's gonna spray on a lot better. Doku actually has the right equipment, he has like paint guns and stuff and like an air compressor and all that so the quality of the paint is actually gonna be a lot better so the other day you guys saw that I sanded it all down and stuff so yesterday I just primed it so the reason why you guys see that it's not primed all the way down here is because this is the bottom of the lip so you won't see it anyways when it's on the car this is the bottom so you know I, I didn't want to bother priming all of this and doing extra work for nothing so I went up and picked up some materials the other day this is the paint that we're using, Omni Paint. The color code for my car is KH3, which is super black on the Nissan. So we're gonna use this. I picked up a mask. I have some urethane reducer. This will mix in with the paint. And yeah, just, that's it. So if it's one to one, then we pour up to like three, mm. and then we'll do the reducer. So then the reducer will fill it up to a three. To three. Okay. So it's just one to one, just matching it up. Doku said that it should be about like this kind of consistency. Nope. Take a filter and then pour it in here. Nope. Do it slowly. So who taught you how to paint? Myself. Oh, <laughs> or are you just like looking it up and like research? Yeah. Well I used to be a painter back then. Mm -hmm. and then I like just watched people do it. Mm -hmm. And I started doing it myself and I'm like it can't be that hard, so I just, when I quit my job, well, before I quit my job, I was, I was like buying stuff to start my painting stuff. Right. So I was working, but at the same time working for my side job, you know, but then it became like my main thing to do. So mm -hmm. while, uh, while working, I just started buying my painting equipment. And then after I was done, you know, I, I started to look at my main job and I was like, I don't want to do it anymore. Oh. <laughs> so, so then I moved to this, you know, and like ever since then, you know, I've been painting bikes, cars, and stuff like that and you know like now I have my own time to do whatever I want so right it, it's better for me you know 
stay at home, dude. For that's sure. the that's the main goal now. Hell yeah. I think that's the main goal of everyone right now. <laughs> right, right. Especially, you know, I ride a lot, so this, this just works for me more. Mm. Cause you're just gonna turn it upside down. Turn this upside this, down. Yep, this will go in there and then you just see it when it snaps in. There you go. And then once you turn it upside down, it shouldn't leak. There you go. Oh. Gravity fed. And now we hook it up to the air compressor. So then when we spray like this, yep. we're gonna go to 25. So when we spray, we spray at an air pressure, a PSI of 25. Yeah, so we're spraying down the ground. So what does this do? So this, it makes it so that the paint doesn't stick to the ground or that dirt doesn't come up. So if dirt comes up, then we got a fucked up project. Aww. Yeah, so, so this is just so that dirt doesn't come up. Also, it makes it easier for cleaning up after you're done painting. Yo, look at that. Look at that bus. We got the first coat down, just the bottom part, the side. You can already see it's coming into place already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In there, dude, it's like dry, huh? Like, yeah. you can't breathe. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, for real. Good thing I got one. And just like that, this coat is done. Very, very light coat on the first coat. You guys can still see the fire in Here is the last base coat. That was really fast too. I mean, you know, just for a lip. About 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. It wasn't bad. Look how it turned out, guys. So once we lay the clear coat on, it's gonna be super glossy and super shiny. Right now, we're just waiting for it to dry, but it turned out really good so far. Yeah, it was really nice. I really like it. It came out really, really clean. It was just enough paint that we needed to. Half a paint, it was perfect, just amount. We just got some imperfections, but then that's just because of the oh, lip itself. Yeah, it's just the lip itself. Yeah, this is a used lip, so, mm -hmm. well, I used it, but this lip has been through it. This one time, I was at this meet with Kim and Philip and yeah. everybody. We went down this, I think it was just me and Kim, we went down this little steep exit and then we turned, right? And yeah. there was a bunch of cars around, so I, like, I had to be really careful of- um, Oh, it was like packed? Turned, yeah, yeah, it was really packed and I had to mm -hmm. like, I had to turn my wheel a lot. There was a car right next to me and then there was a curb right here, so I couldn't really like adjust myself. So Dude, I didn't have the space. So I went down and then I scraped this lip super hard. Well, that you guys can see, yeah, you guys can see all the scrape marks right here. I tried to buff it out, send it out a little bit as much as I could, but <laughs> you know, this is gonna be there. Yeah, and then also if you guys have watched my first video when I painted this lip, you guys will know that I patched this lip back up. I cracked it during like the winter time, a couple years back, and I just used some JB Weld and I just patched it back up. This lip has been through it, but I'm surprised it's still holding up the way it is. I'm very happy about that. The paint is all dry, so we waited about an hour or so. Feels really good. The paint is really smooth. Now we are ready to lay the clear coat. Yeah. You know, the paint came down really, really nice. Even on the inseams here, dude, it turned out so good. I'm really happy about this part, because mm -hmm. this part's hard. Yeah, dude, so it came down really That's why I yeah. use a paint gun, man. Yeah. You hit all this on the inside, dude, and it's even soft, too. So oh, is soft. Oh, yeah. That's perfect, dude. Uh, let's fucking go. Better than a spray can. Man. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. But like spray can would get this kind of finish. Like if you don't do anything. Like yeah. if you're some can do it, but it just makes it so much easier with a paint gun. Right. Especially because I didn't have the stand. So I can't really see because like really literally just, what I'm doing is just spraying it on the floor. Oh shit. You know? Yeah, because like when you do that, what it does is like um so there's this the, the pressurized like you know when you spray it has like a lot of force like air force mm -hmm. so then it's gonna come all the stuff comes onto it so then that's why like spraying on the ground is not ideal yep. i mean you could wet the whole ground like i did mm -hmm. through this i don't know i think this is just simpler like i said this den is just hell expensive too so the clear coat that we're using is the 2k clear first time like actually doing it more professionally like it feels so much better than doing it on the floor because if you guys knew how i did it was i literally laid cardboard on the floor i put the lip on top of like a little platform and then i just sprayed it after you spray it like doku said all the dirt and all the debris and dust just flies up because of the pressure and then it gets onto whatever you're painting gotcha bro <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> 
This is perfect too. This is even better than just holding it yep. by itself. If you guys don't know how to use this, I'll show you guys. On the cap, it comes with this red plug. And all you do is you stick it on the bottom where you see that little, that little nipple right there. You just press it in and then that releases the hardener. I've heard a lot of people use this. Always had good reviews, so let's give it a shot. Just laid the last layer of clear coat. Check it out. Just gonna wait for it to dry. Looking really good so far. So shiny. Woo! That's clean. Yeah. I'm so excited about this. All right, all done with the. Oh shit! There's a little bit of. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, no, I got it. I got it. Okay, oh, we're good. Okay, I just drained it. Yeah, we're good. All right, so we just finished painting the lip. Let me know what you guys think. This is really, really good for an in-garage and a rattle can clear coat. This turned out a lot better than I expected, though. It exceeded my expectations by a lot. Thank you, Doku. Appreciate sure, your help. Man. Bro, this thing's a beauty. It's like we said, dog, Team Rogue, man. All the way. All the way, Team <laughs> Rogue. Team Rogue Masashi, dog. In a few weeks from now, we're gonna be going to Proving Grounds, which is like a it's like a three-day car event. It has drifting, car show, there's a drag race, all on like a track and everything. It's like a whole entire campground. just campground, and there's so much stuff going on there. You know, whatever car-related stuff. Every car lover's dream, man. Yeah, and people just go there to have fun. This will be my first time going there. I've never been there before, but I heard that it's a lot of fun, so I'm super excited. Uh, Doku and I are gonna go grab some food, all hungry, so we're gonna wait for this to dry for 48 hours, and then we'll see how it looks once it's like officially dry and ready to touch. So Friday. Yeah. It's coming Friday. Friday. I'll leave this here for the time being, and then I'll update you guys once it's ready to go. All right, it's been a few days. It's all dried and cured. That's pretty nice. Yeah, once it cured, it definitely looked a lot better. Yeah. That's yeah, it looks nice. good. A little wow. bit of like orange peel, but it's... But what we did with it? Yeah. <laughs> for a garage like yeah. project, this is not bad. This is not bad. It turned out pretty damn decent. Yeah. It definitely turned out a lot better than what I would have. Yeah, like when, uh, because like when it was just still oh, wet. Yeah. It was like, oh man, it looks kind of weird. But then once it dried out, it definitely came into shape. I really like where it's at right now. <laughs> it's going to look so new compared to your bumper now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. My bumper has like some chips on it. And then this is like all perfect. Dude, like, all right, your bumper next, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Thank you, dude. That's legit, man. I've been collecting hella tags. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, because these, I put them on my bikes. Oh, tell us about your bikes. Oh, so this one is a 07 1200 Custom. This is like my daily commuter. This one's the one that I just want to ride around. Because, man, like, I don't know, dude, this is like my baby. <laughs> Like, I'm not the sports type type, you know? Like, I don't want to be like all the other Asian guys. They all want sport bikes, and I'm like, I'm good. You know, I'm trying to have a good bag by the time I'm 60, you know? So <laughs> Cruise is all the way to go. And then this one's a 06 Suzuki S40. So this one is actually kind of hard to find. And you can find it, but then it's, it's really hard to find it in a decent condition. This is like pretty damn nice. So I bought this one for my dad, because he wanted to start riding. So I was like, you know what? I think this is a perfect bike. This is a 650 single cylinder, so that's, kind of crazy when it comes down to it in the bike world that's like you wouldn't expect a 650 out of a single cylinder like this it looks like a 250 it's a nice bike man i really like this bike and then that's just the that's like god that's like the middle child no one cares about that bike i don't really care about that bike <laughs> i'm trying to get rid of it so if someone wants to buy it it's up for sale 2007 honda shadow spare 1100 it's a good cruiser it's just i don't know it's just not my thing <laughs> wow. i heard the exhaust gets like really hot on this bike bro these gets really yeah. hot i had an old co-worker that had this bike mm -hmm. the exhaust like yeah. so it runs down here so then when he puts his leg up he has to wear pants in order to ride it no you have to there's a lot of us that we, when we ride with just shorts on i mean people do it i do it but when you ride with shorts on dude if you burn yourself man bro mm -hmm. it's, have you ever got burnt i <laughs> i think i I think it did. I don't know. Weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah. 
Like, a lot of us do, we get burnt a lot. Because when you get off your bike, it depends on where you're getting off, whatever. But then you can just burn your leg so quickly. Because, dude, it doesn't take a lot of room for you to actually burn your leg, you know? Like, if you look right here, you can see, like, where the pedals are at and the exhaust right there. Oh. A little misstep, you're going to burn your leg pretty fast. So you got you to gotta be going like this. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that's why, I like, my cruiser, I'm like, my leg's like this when I'm on my cruiser. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you just got to be careful. But overall, it's... It's an experience. You're gonna burn yourself, you're gonna drop your bike. Something's gonna happen eventually. Not with cars, dude. Our whole group, we all moved from cars to all bikes now. Dang. So yesterday, it was like 10 of us, and I was like, oh, this is nice, dude. Oh, y'all like cruising? Yeah, bro, nice. because like, we're all in the car scene. We're all part of different groups. Right. And then we're like, man, forget that, dude. Forget cars, let's go into bikes. So we all sold all of our cars and all bought bikes. Oh. Dude, it's pretty nice, man. It's a vibe, definitely, dude. Something I, I want everyone to get into. But yeah, a like, whole man. different scene. Yeah, like, yeah. I want them to get into bikes, dude, but it ain't for everyone. One little simple mess up, it can cost your life. Yeah, that's the point of living, though, right? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta all enjoy right. it, man. Hell yeah. Well, thank you, brother. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. Always, man. Anytime. If you guys ever need any paint stuff done, anything at all, we can do what we can. Let Doku know. Hell yeah. Whatever, man. Just message me. I'm always free. I'll put his Facebook right here. You guys can message him. Always, man. Always. Anytime. So as you can see, we are losing daylight, so I gotta do this quickly. I don't have much time, so let's get started. I actually take that back. Last night got a little too dark, but it turns out today is the hottest day of the week, so I don't know what's worse to work on cars, but check this out, guys. Look at the weather. 90 all the way across today. Next week's looking like it's gonna be 100. This shouldn't take too long, so hopefully I don't get like heat stroke or something, but let's go. out guys the splitter and the lift is on look at how it flows i love this i am so happy about this let's air this down and let's check it out i have the airlift remote on my phone let's give it okay let's air it down just a tiny bit more i've always wanted this still in splitter but i just never got to ordering it now like having it it makes so much of a difference Look at how far it sticks out. Jeez. Now this flows with the side skirts and it flows with the rear spats. I don't even know what to say. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, since the front fitment isn't like the best, I wanna get the fender to go down a little bit more so we can reach the wheel. I'm gonna get to rolling those pretty soon here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Make sure you guys head over to the website, cop some merch. Your support means a ton. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.